Hey guys, for this video, I'm going to be giving you some useful tips and tricks to help improve your FPS in Fortnite Season 3. What I'm going to do is cover some tweaks and optimization tips that you could use to improve your FPS in-game. This will include the best in video settings, Windows 10 and 11 tricks, as well as hidden Epic Games launcher options that you really need to make advantage of. Additionally, there should be timestamps in the video. Make sure to drop a like if this video helps out your FPS. Now, let's get right into it. Alright, so to begin, we're going to update our graphics driver. I have an NVIDIA graphics card, so I will be using the NVIDIA app to update my drivers. You can use GeForce Experience if you want to. Also, if you're an AMD, you will use the software for AMD. I believe it's AMD Adrenaline. Everyone with an NVIDIA graphics card should have this. It basically has all the different applications and games you play. Where I'm going to go is to the Drivers tab on the left. I'm going to click that and I'm going to update my drivers. In order to actually do that, you just click Check for Updates and that will show you the latest GeForce Game Ready driver. I'm not even on the latest which I have downloaded but I don't think I'm going to install it because I kind of want to record this video. But for those of you who get hitches or maybe your game just does not feel good, try updating your drivers. Moving on, let's tweak our Windows settings. I'm currently on Windows 11, but you can still follow along on Windows 10. It's the same process pretty much. First, in the Windows search, you want to type graphics settings. You should get a system setting tab, and that you're going to do is actually turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. It will either give you a small performance boost or it will just do nothing. If you have a problem with it, turn off and see if it helps. On top of that, we have graphics performance preference. This is important because I have Fortnite on high performance. In order to actually do that, you're going to press browse. I don't think you're going to see this first, so you should probably go to your program files. That's where you're going to see all the different kinds of games you have. And you're going to go to Epic Games, Fortnite, Game Binaries, Win64 and then you get the four different applications. Make sure right here, you do not click the Easy Anti-Cheat or the Battle Eye or the Launcher. Click Fortnite Client, Windows 64 Shipping. You're going to add that right here. Even though it's already been added, and here's you have the different options where it says, let Windows decide. Power saving. High performance? You want high performance. Save that bad boy and boom. Those are your Windows graphics settings. Going back to the actual settings of Windows, we're going to go to the gaming settings. The gaming section starting with the Xbox game bar. Make sure you have this off. A lot of people actually do not and they don't realize it uses a ton of your game's processing power. People like to use it for recording game clips, but just use NVIDIA. You'll literally have NVIDIA Shadow Play. You have OBS, all these other way better options than Xbox Game Bar. Turn it off, especially if you already use one of the other ones. Additionally, other ones additionally over in-game mode. I have game mode on and does not make a huge difference, at least on my own personal PC, but you could play around with it. I have heard from PC tweakers to turn it off, but I leave it on. Finally, with the last Windows tweak, we're going to start up and install apps. What we're going to do is not that. I want to type up startup apps. We're actually going to use two of them related to apps. The first one is your startup apps. These are anything that is going to run in the background as you play Fortnite that automatically starts. So you can see the only one literally that I have on is Epic Games Launcher. Apparently, is the only one with a high impact. Even though I think if I turned one of them on, I guess it wouldn't change. They're kind of lying about the no impact because if I have this on, if all of these were on and updating and running at the same time, my FPS would be in shambles. So please turn all of them off. The only one you really need for Fortnite is Epic Games Launcher. But related to startup apps are your normal apps and features. If you go back and head to the installed app section, this is basically all the different application that you have downloaded. And something that I like to do is just uninstall any that I do not use. For example, this one right here. I have not used that, so I'm going to uninstall it. I get that off my PC. This is going to remove different applications that you do not use. 
it'll give you way more space for different games. Now let's address the performance power plan in the search bar. Type power plan and select edit power plan. Click on change advanced power settings by default. The balanced power plan is typically active. However, to optimize performance, switch to the high performance plan, which is specifically designed to boost system performance. Ensure to apply the settings and click OK to confirm. To end off the video, we have the kind of Fortnite settings that are not all Fortnite settings. I'm going to load up the Epic Games Launcher. I'm going to go to my library and this is where you can see Fortnite. You're just going to want to click on the three little dots next to Fortnite. You're going to go to Options and over there you have the Fortnite installation options. What I recommend everyone is uninstall the high resolution textures. As you can see right now, mine are just not there. It's not checked. It's huge. It's 19 GB. We spend like a minute just removing different startup apps. So why the heck would we want high resolution texture 20 GB for no reason? All they do is reduce your FPS. To actually uninstall them, all you're going to do is you're going to uncheck it and then press apply. Well guys, that's the end of the video. All of those tips and tricks should help improve your FPS because I did it on my own PC. Let me know down below if it did. Also, if you enjoy the video or you learned something new, do be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel as I'm on my way to 2000 subs. I'll see you guys in the next one.